My name is Carter Foster. I'm a curator here at the Whitney. I worked on the installation with Charles Ledre. In men's suits, you walk in and you see three different areas of a thrift store that's selling men's clothes. It's a fairly dirty environment. It's somewhat tawdry. The floors are dirty. There's dust on the ceiling. These are used clothes. These are not new clothes. So that's by necessity going to imply a certain type of visitor might be there. It's probably not a place where Park Avenue ladies are going to be shopping. Everything that you see in a work by Charles Ledre is made by him. I couldn't believe the plastic coat hangers and that they looked just like the plastic coat hangers you might get from a dry cleaner. He made them out of resin in a mold and he cast them himself. That really kind of blew my mind. You see not just these different areas of the store that, are, that we're all familiar with, but areas that you wouldn't normally see, such as the top of the ceiling. You have a kind of God's eye view. You're both outside and inside the room at the same time. The middle tableau of men's suits, it has a, a mannequin, but an old-fashioned mannequin, without a head, with a suit carefully placed on it, and then a circle of ties on a table. The old-fashioned care that's gone into showing it almost evokes the 19th century to me. It almost evokes some other time in American history. The size of men's suits is everything to the piece. The scale of men's suits is somewhere between the very small and life size. If something's miniature, we, we can hold it in our hand, we can possess it, we can control it in a way. If something's life-size, we know what to do with it. It's a, it becomes an object that exists in our world. But if something's between those two things, it's, it has a kind of uncanniness and a strangeness that we're just not normally used to dealing with. I think the great thing about men's suits is it's magical. Charles Ledre sets up a world with his own rules. You walk into that room and it's like you're transported into something else. You're transported outside of yourself. You're amazed at the level of detail that one person could achieve. That really makes magic, I think. It's just, you know, it's a transporting piece.